From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your afternoon update. Dennis's Heating and Air Conditioning is Northern California's premier heating and air conditioning contractor. From residential housing, large commercial projects, installation to repair, sheet metal fabrication, and everything in between, we are your go-to heating and air conditioning specialist. Well, if you're looking for a nice, convenient place where you can find all of the forecast information just from a live 24-hour streaming channel, you can do it from your smart TV. Now, if you have YouTube on your smart TV, which most likely you do, most TVs these days are smart number one, and you can connect them to the internet, and they most likely already have YouTube on them. So go to the Weather NorCal YouTube channel on your smart TV. You can not only watch the 24-hour streaming channel, but from the YouTube app, you can watch the videos on demand, whether it's, uh, you know, Turtle Bay, Wonderful World of Animals, or the Ag Report, or the Pet of the Week, or you can also watch my latest forecast as well. Now, where you can watch the 24-hour streaming channel, and I'll always just play that channel for you 24-7, go to the Fire Stick or, Amazon or, or Roku, download the app for free, and you're watching the 24-hour streaming channel. So be sure to check out those features here at Weather NorCal. Just one of the many ways, many, many ways that you can get your forecast from Weather NorCal. All right, take a look at your headlines. One more day of this heat wave. Yes, we've got to get through today. Then temperatures do start to drop. We've got the cooling trend starting tomorrow. Not as hot for your Father's Day weekend. But when we look at the chances for rain, which is something I'm always looking at, right? I'm just not seeing much, if any, rain really in the long range forecast. Let's take a look at your neighborhood forecast for the rest of the day today. Your highs still over 100 degrees for the valley, 90s for most of us in the mountains. Well, you know the song and dance for the North Coast, right? Much cooler there, but we can see the fire weather risk is still going to be fairly high for many of us in the valley. A bit more of a southerly flow of winds for places like Chico and Oroville, but more of a northerly wind out in Redding. Now, another thing I want you to take note is we're beginning to see more and more of these yellows and even some oranges making their way into the map for some of the higher elevations. So we're beginning to see the fire weather risk begin to spread outside of the valley and the foothills and making its way into the higher elevations. You can see by tomorrow, again, more of that southerly flow of winds for the valley, keeping that fire danger fairly high around midday. But there you can see yellows and even oranges off into Modoc County, Lassen County as well, and even beginning to see some yellows here making its way into Siskiyou County as well. It's Thursday, 6 p.m., looks like, it, again, more of that southerly wind, although more of a westerly wind for the north and west side of the valley here. That could increase that fire danger a bit here as we go into Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening. And then Friday, yes, of course, no more of that northerly wind for the north end of the valley, high fire da danger there, but still getting within that low to moderate category here off to the east as well. Here's a look at the big picture. We have all of the storms riding to the north. We got plenty of sunshine over Northern California. And really that's gonna be the case here for the extended outlook. However, what we're seeing happen is these storm systems continue to come in from the Gulf of Alaska and really the north in general, and they ride to our north. That keeps this heat from building in as strong as it would like to. And as a result, our temperatures are dropping over the next several days and going into the weekend. There's that cooler air to our north on Father's Day. We take you into your Monday. This dips down even more to the south. Now, a couple of things. Number one, it's going to bring us even cooler weather on Monday. But number two, this looks like it's got a bit of an inside slider uh, characteristic, which could bring with it. Yeah, some gusty winds that we'll have to watch for on Monday of next week. That moves on out, and we've got more cooler air, more storm systems riding to our north, preventing this heat from moving in, and not to mention the heat over the southeastern United States. So we look at the heat, excessive heat warning still in effect until 8 o'clock tonight for the valley and the surrounding foothills as well. And we take a look at future cast and take a look at that long range. And yeah, we're seeing the dry conditions, as I mentioned, but the clouds kind of moving in from time to time. And any rain we do see is going to stay up to our north over the Pacific Northwest. So here's what it looks like for the rest of the day today. Temperatures, of course, still over 100 degrees for most of us in the valley, 90s for many of the higher elevations. And those temperatures should be in the low 60s for those daytime highs along the coast. Nice and cool for the coast, right? There's your seven day outlook for the valley. There's the peak yesterday and today, but back down into the 90s by tomorrow and Friday, low 90s by Saturday. Sunday. In fact, we're going to kind of average out about 90 degrees, give or take, for the weekend, and that'll continue into early next week for the valley. Now, of course, for the coast, low 60s, even getting down to the upper 50s by this upcoming Sunday. 
But there you can see the inland areas. We're back down to the 70, 70s, that is. And for Weaverville, Trinity County in general, also eventually back down to the 70s by Father's Day into early next week. Take a look at your 70 outlook for Siskiyou, Modoc, and the Eastern Mountains. And you can see those temperatures are also dropping for the higher elevations and eventually down into the 70s by the time we get into the weekend. And of course, not to mention early next week. Let nothing stand between you and the tree stand with this great offer on the fast, durable Kubota Sidekick. Featuring a gas-powered engine that delivers a top speed of 40 miles per hour, outstanding acceleration and handling with cargo, and a two-year, 1,000-hour warranty. Get the Sidekick now for zero down, 0% zero APR for 36 months or save $1,000. Tractors, trailers, rentals. You do it all, we do it local. 